Welcome to the Common Sense Academy, friends, family, and common sensors. Today we're going to take a look at a video that has a little bit of everything. A window getting smashed in, a sovereign citizen asserting her sovereign rights, and even quoting from a, a little wonderful document I had never heard before called the Common Law Handbook. Yes, friends and family, the, com the, the sovereign citizen movement is alive and well. I am your host, Joe Pometto. Thank you for tuning in today. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's a free way to support the show. It lets YouTube know you're watching. It also lets me know you're watching and incentivizes me to make more videos. At the same time, there's a link below to my Patreon. Any don donation on Patreon would be appreciated, whether it be one, two, four, five dollars a month. Um, you may or may not know uh, that YouTube demonetizes a large amount of my videos due to the controversial nature of the content. They must believe that it's offensive. Also, some of my videos uh, get get sort of um, promoted more than other videos. Uh, YouTube, as far as the sovereign citizen stuff is concerned, I heard when I started doing this that it was on YouTube's list of sort of um, content to target and to not promote as much as or uh, as often as it did. I don't know if that's true so much, but they are demonetizing um, a lot of my content. So that's why I asked for a donation. Um, it really frees up time for me to make more videos like this. Before we dig into this great video, let's do what you really came here for uh, the same time sip. So grab your cup, your glass, your mug. Maybe you drink out of a giant mug like the Vikings would have in a beer hall. I need something good like that. Raise it in the air. Cheers with me. Let's do a same time sip. Hmm. I got a little bit of coffee in that sip. And let's enjoy this video. I need to speak with your boss. Arizona tag on the trailer. I need to speak with your boss. You're you're doing something illegal right now. You have a duty. You have a duty to uphold the Constitution. Are you an oath? Are you an oath keeper or a a, a code enforcer? Which one are you? Are you an oath keeper or a, a code enforcer? Which one are you? Because you don't have a right to pull me over and arrest me. I've done nothing wrong. Look, where is your boss? Are you an oath keeper, Sheriff? Sir? Are you an oath keeper? Look, I do not want to argue with you. I've done nothing wrong. And here's your duty. Here's your duty. The duty of the Sheriff. You have a Sheriff's duty. I, why do I have to identify myself? I've done nothing wrong. Sheriffs today, law enforcement, a sheriff always has the power to make arrests within his or her own county. Some states extend this authority to adjacent counties or to the entire state. Many sheriff's officers also perform routine patrol functions such as traffic control, accident investigations, and transportation of prisoners. Larger departments may perform criminal investigations and some usually large sheriff's office command and air patrol. As sheriff's law enforcement duty become more extensive and complex, new career up court duty. Sheriffs are responsible for maintaining safety and the security of the court. A sheriff's deputy may be required to attend court. Sir, where is your boss? You, you're bound by the Constitution and the oath that you kept. You have no immunity from liability when you are violating your constitutional, my constitutional rights. You do for the passenger side? Don't break my window. Get out of the car. That's it. Get out of the car. Don't. Get out of the car. Don't. Ma'am, get out of the car. Why would you do get such a thing? I feel threatened. He's violating my rights. He's violating. What is your name? What is your name? Get out of the car. What is your name? No! No, you broke my window! No! 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 You're ripping me out of my vehicle! Stop! I did nothing wrong! When I first watched this video and saw that the police were about to arrest this sovereign citizen, I had a little bit of sympathy for her. I said, what is going on? But then I watched it a second time, I listened more closely, and I said, well, the police were completely justified. 
When I first watched this video and saw that the police were about to... You don't know that's fine. I'm exempt from taxes. I told her that I would pay for the drink. Yeah, but you she going to remove the taxes? Exactly. That's not your deal. So, okay, exactly. I would pay for the drink if I'm tax exempt because I am tax exempt. I have a paper. I have paperwork saying that I'm tax exempt. How are you going to tell me if I'm not tax exempt? Okay, but I'm, that doesn't make me more or less tax exempt. I have a work with Write the citation, sir. No. Can you write the citation? Because that's what you're here for. That's what you said you're going to do. Just do what you said. Thank you. I do not want to provide that information. Um, I can't go to jail for failure to identify, sir. Please do not. Please do not touch me. Hey, this is not. I am. Babe. Hey. Can you please do something? Because I don't want to. Can you show them your nationality card? Okay, can you please. Let me show you my nationality card? Please? Show your nationality no, sir, card. It's not too late. I need to show you my nationality card. Sir. Hey. Excuse uh, me. Excuse me, sir. I am an American now. Hey, stop, please. Hey, I'm relax. Rachel, relax. Sir, sir, stop. I'm an American Stop. National, sir. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. You cannot handle me like this, sir. Yo, yo. Sir, you cannot handle me like this, sir. Can I just pay? It's beyond that. Can I pay for it? It's beyond that now. Give us your hands. Sir, can I show you my nationality card? Give us your hands. I need to show you my nationality card. You asked for identification. Sir. Give us your hands. You asked for identification. I need to provide you. Give us your hands. I need to provide you with my nationality card. I do not consent to this. I am an American national, sir. Give us your hands. I cannot do that. Until you provide me with your information, I need to provide you with my nationality card, sir. Ma'am, give us your hands. Hey, okay, okay, okay. A simple little disturbance, and you're gonna make it go this way. No, sir, I do give not us want your other to hand. go this way. Can you please just listen Give to us me? your hands. Where's your card? I have it in my in my purse. Where's your purse? Today we're going to watch a video of a sovereign citizen who does combat in Daytona Municipal Court with some attorneys and some sheriffs. FYI, I think it's like whoever recorded it is sort of talking over it, but uh, now we're gonna watch. Here we see the individual getting angry, a bit belligerent, yelling at the sheriff's deputies. The sheriff's put hands on him and whoa, the lawyer comes over and gets into the brawl. And, oh, wait, there's two lawyers in the brawl, one of them throwing punches. So we got two lawyers and the sheriff's deputy, and it looks like, oh, that guy, that one attorney may know, know jujitsu or something. He's putting this guy in a headlock. We now got four sheriff's deputies and two attorneys wrestling with the self-proclaimed sovereign citizen. Looks like maybe his girlfriend or a, or a sister or a woman there with him. She's just sort of stepping back, which is probably a good idea. This guy definitely means violence. We got another sheriff's deputy off to the side. She doesn't want to get involved. There's already one, two, three, four, five, six guys on him. If this guy can do any any real type of chokehold. Really? So you can hear the, the voices that are on the video. That's like whoever recorded it was talking over it. Here they are trying to secure this guy they got him on his side and they're trying to put him in cuffs <laughs> oh man i've only seen one courtroom situation like this and the guy started to sort of flip out but they got him in cuffs so fast that it didn't escalate to the point that this did all right they got him up he's appears to still be yelling, straining a little bit, fighting. He's going to be charged with resisting arrest. Um, this a lawyer, the lawyer just engaged in some jujitsu. 
Um, these are two attorneys are like, let's go, uh, let's go to a kickboxing class and get a beer afterwards. Um, I thought I was going to be arguing motions in court, and, and instead I had to throw blows. Imagine, if you will, a world where you have the gall to tell the police to fill out a form when they pulled you over for doing something wrong. However, don't imagine it for very long because as you all know, we live in that world and we're about to watch a video where an individual does just that. Let me tell you, it never ends and every time my mind is blown. Actually, no, not so much anymore. I just get a kick out of it. I don't answer questions. Can you please fill us out before I do answer questions? I need you to fill us out. I'm, pri I'm private. I need you to fill us out. What does that mean? I'm private. I need you to fill this out first before I answer any questions. All right, thank you, sir. And then, second time getting pulled over. I'm being pulled over again for the second time. This is the second time. Yeah, second time. Hey, you know, you know, Chuck Massos, Sheriff. He he actually pulled me over the other day. I have it on video. All right, so just letting you know, I have, I've dealt with this before. No, I need you to fill this out first, sir. I need you to fill, all right, I didn't say that, but I'm just letting you know I've dealt with this before, okay? So, no, I need, you, do you want to see the video? you want to see the video? I need you to fill this out. Here, right here, this, here you go. I, all right, well, listen, I need you to fill it. I, I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Can you step out of the video? No, I cannot. If you, if you want, call, get arrested if you call your supervisor, please. Call the supervisor. Yeah, but you're going to get arrested if you Call the supervisor. Yourself. Call the supervisor. Okay, I got you. Can, can you call the supervisor, please? Can you identify yourself so I can tell them who I'm I'm, 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 I'm private. What's your name? I'm private. You're private? Yes. Can you please fill this out you, first, sir? Been for this no, I, as I said, I've been pulled over by the sheriff himself who let me go because I'm private. I'm not a sheriff. All right, but I'm just saying sheriff is higher than you. I know, but I'm just saying, if, so call, if you want, call the Can sheriff. Call the sheriff. Okay. I understand that your, your political views are that sheriff are higher than the police. Officer. I know, but I don't answer questions. I need you to fill this out first. Sir. All right, thank you, sir. I'm just going right here. Right here. <laughs> I'm traveling. I'm traveling, not driving. I'm, but I'm traveling right now in my private conveyance. Uh, you don't want this obeying our talk. I'm traveling, guys. Put your guys. hands behind your back. Can I put my Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today, we're going to take a look at a video. It was recorded uh, April 20th of 2019. It is a police stop of a sovereign citizen in Oklahoma where it results in a window smash. A uh, pretty satisfying video. Um, and the guy, for all the nonsense that he throws at these police officers, uh, let me tell you, he gets he gets one thing right, but in the wrong way. He gets one thing right, but in the wrong way. <laughs> This is a traffic stop and you're being detained. Okay, so, so I'm being detained and I'm not... Because you did not have your seatbelt okay, on. Okay, sir. So therefore, I wish to invoke my Fifth Amendment right to uh, remain silent and not provide you... But you, right. you have to give me your license or you can go to jail for obstruction. That's not true. Yeah, Oklahoma is not a identified state. You are if you... If there's you a traffic me, stop. If you arrest me... There's a traffic stop. If you arrest me, sir, then I'm required to give you information. This is a traffic stop, and you are required to give me your driver's license. It is Oklahoma State law for you to surrender your driver's license and security if security verification. You're going to open this door, or you're going to go to jail for obstruction. I've had enough. I've had enough. Open this door. I'm invoking my fifth minute right to No, you're not. Open this door. You're going to go to jail for obstruction. Well, I'm just going to inform you because you're not cooperating with me. You have committed a traffic violation. We're going to have to use a window punch on your window to get you out.
Because okay. you can't even issue a warrant for me. Might as well leave. Well, no, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to speak with the you prosecutor. You can go in there without the camera. Well, please step aside. I'm going in. No, you're not going in. Don't touch me. You're not going in, sir. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, stop, please. I'm not doing anything wrong. Hey. You know what? You guys are really overstepping your bounds right now. Put the cuffs on them. Put the cuffs on them. What are you arresting me for? Danger! Oh, maybe you need a timeout. Let me ask you. You got hit with a taser today, right? Yes, I did. What happened? Man, I didn't know what happened. I got hit with that. I got blank, short of breath. What did it feel like? You were running, right? Uh-huh. What, what do you remember? You're running? I remember I was running. I jumped this gate. After I jumped that gate, I just dropped. That was it. That was it? That was it. I what, just what, dropped. Did you see anything? Hear anything? Man, I saw the little stars like I told you, you know. But I, and then I fell flat on my face, dirt all in my mouth. You don't want to deal with that taser, trust me. Some nasty if, ride, huh? If you, if, you, if you was to get your ass whooped by the police, I was to take that ass whooping. Don't take that taser, man. 